Hey, welcome back, Rankers. You having a good week? Summer's still not here. It's still cold. Uh, now, a few weeks ago, I did a show about uh, three top SEO things to do before the end of the year. And one of them was moving to HTTPS. The reason for this is, and I did a blog post about this on ProBlogger this week, uh, ProBlogger.com, and getting a lot of questions. Uh, it seems like it's hit a bit of a nerve. And we did a training session in the Bloggers SEO Facebook support group, and a lot of questions out of that. Now, one of the main questions is, well, if I'm not collecting, or if I'm not transacting, uh, but I'm not, and I'm not collecting people's information, then why do I need to do it? Because Google's gonna move, <coughs> or it's going to push as hard as they can to have every site HTTPS in the future. And the reason that is, it's good for the user. Okay, so what HTTPS does, it stops what's called man in the middle attacks. So basically what that means is, is that when you request a web page from that web server over there, that web server actually encrypts it for you and sends it to you and then your machine decrypts it. So that way no one can look at what's happening in between you and the server. So it's a good thing for the user, which is why Google wants everyone on it. Now you don't have to go on it, but if you don't, Google's going to warn users. Initially, it'll be subtly, but eventually it won't be that subtle and it'll be a big red sign or something like that. But initially, for users on the Chrome browser, they're going to get a warning come January to say that this site is not secure. And so basically, if a user is using a Chrome browser and they usually go to your site or they find your site in Google and it's... Um, hasn't got HTTPS on it, then you're gonna get a warning saying that this site is not secure. Uh, then they're gonna change that warning to a big red warning uh, to alert users even more. So even though you may not be transacting, you may not have an e-commerce site, and you think, well, I'm not collecting details. Well, if you've got any forms on your site, you're collecting details. So essentially, uh, you need to be doing HTTPS. And you're better off doing it sooner rather than later. Now, there is many bad ways to do the move, uh, but there is several good ways. So the way that we do it is, and I did one of these last week, and the first thing you've got to get is your certificate. Now, the question is, where do I get my certificate from? For most of us, it's from our hosting companies. Most hosting companies will have some sort of HTTPS certificate um, purchase on their site, you'd be able to just buy it and add it to your server. They should do all that work for you, okay? And they should install that certificate for you. You need to ask them uh, for a 2048, 2048 bit uh, certificate, because that's the most secure. You also need to understand what do you want that certificate for? How many domains do you want that for? Now, if you say, well, only one, you might want it for two. You might want it for WW and non-WW, depending if you use both somewhere along the line. Um, and it won't cost you much more for that. If you've got lots of subdomains, you might want to have a look at what is the right uh, certificate for you. There, some of them are a bit limited. Some of them come with insurance, so if you do get hacked or if something happens, the, you, know, um, you can call on that insurance. I haven't ever heard of anyone doing that. Um, there's probably case studies out there. And you, some sites might need dynamic uh, HTTPS. But for most of us, it's probably a multiple domain certificate. You can get a single domain, but for most people, you probably want Ws and non-WWs. Get your hosting company to install it. Uh, all the resources on the site. So anything that is on the site that, um, references HTTP and like JavaScript, like CSS files, like um, anything that's embedded on a page, like YouTube videos, uh, like any sort of iframes or anything, anything that's basically makes the page be created, they all have to be HTTPS. Now this won't happen automatically. If you've got say old YouTube embedded, uh, they'll all be at HTTP. So make sure that anything that is basically generating the page uh, or building the page 
is referencing HTTPS, and that's all external resources as well if they're coming in, like things like share bars, things like uh, any sort of widgets and, and those sorts of things. They could all have an effect. Then, once you've got all that sorted as well, you've got to redirect all of the HTTP to the equivalent HTTPS uh, pages at an individual level. You have to set uh, the HTTPS HTTPS version up in change or uh, sorry up in Google Search Console. Uh, do not, however, remove the old HTTP from Search Console. Leave that there for the time being. You also need need to set up your HTTPS sitemaps in Google Search Console. And strangely, Google also wants you to submit your HTTP sitemaps into your HTTPS. Google Search Console, and which is, seems a little counterintuitive, but that's what they want you to do, presumably so that they can see the relationship between the two sitemaps and the two sites. So you need to do that. And once the, all your redirections are in place, you've got your sitemaps in place, uh, what I would then do is also run a check using, say, something like Screaming Frog, and do a protocol check just to make sure that the only HTTP references are ones that are external links and not actually part of uh, the site that you're on currently. And that's really the highlights, if you like. Now, for us, it's about, depending on the site, it's about 10 hours work. Now, some hosting companies, it's a lot faster because they've just got it all set up and, and it just all redirects nicely. Uh, but for most hosting companies, that's not the case. Uh, I have heard some ho horror stories recently where some hosted solutions are just automatically moving their clients to HTTPS without doing any of this work. Uh, that will result in a drop in ranking. So don't do it that way. You have to do the steps. You've got to get the right certificate, number one. Make sure it's a 2448, sorry, 2048 uh, encrypted certificate. And make sure that you don't have any resources within the pages themselves that are not HTTPS. Uh, redirect all the HTTP to the HTTPS, set up the search console for the HTTPS, and watch it like a hawk for about the next week or so. And that's really it. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you next week. Hey, please share the video if you have more than one friend. And don't laugh, I'm serious. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks very much, bye.